I am in the middle of processing another batch of cells. You can see here these are all uh, need to be worked on. And um, some of these cells are really low voltage. And so I thought it would be interesting to talk about what do we do with low voltage cells. Um, I kind of, I have, because I like to buy all my batteries from the same sources, scooter batteries, modem packs, that are all high quality LG cells, normally with uh, barely used or minimal use and testing near full capacity, I really don't capacity test all my batteries, I don't. Um, again, they all came out of the same sort of packs. They all sort of have the same sort of lifespan and use and, and I'll test a few random ones, but I do not test all my cells. But th th there are, you know, I do do a few things. First, I do check the voltage of the cells and I kind of separate the batteries into different buckets. These are sort of your 2.5 and above batteries. Um, 2.5 and above batteries are, you know, those batteries are still within their healthy life voltage. They'll charge up just fine. I run them on my regular charges. I even, you know, I just dump them on my massive charger here and power it with my ISDT. You can see it's hooked up here with a balance lead on my ISDT. And I'll run them on through the ISDT just to bulk charge those batteries all at the same time. And even though when, I, when you throw them on, they might be slightly different voltages. Some might be 2.7, some might be 2.5, some might be 2.9. Well, because they're all in parallel and because they're all at the bottom end of their range, they will almost instantly equalize with each other. A battery goes from 2.6 to 2.9 almost instantly. So you, I just click all these batteries in parallel. They almost within probably a minute equalize with each other. And then I throw on the ISDT and charge them up full. And that works great. And again, these are cells that are within their healthy life voltage. Then I kind of have my medium voltage batteries. These are sort of one to two volts, shall we say. Sort of under, under two volts, above one volt. These are my medium um, life, you know, medium voltage batteries, one to two volts. And the reason that I put these separately is things like your Lito Carla will not charge a battery that is sort of below two and a half volts. It will not. It knows that that is sort of below the dish, what a battery should get to and it will refuse to charge it. So I use things like these E-Fests, which are sort of dumb chargers. They don't have any smarts in them. They just, you know, sort of charge batteries regardless. And they're relatively low charge rate. These are like 500 milliamp charge rates. And these E-Fests will take a 1.5 volt battery happily and charge them up. And I really have no problems with these E-Fests. And they're actually pretty cheap. They're like $12, $15. And these things charge up, uh, you know, uh, a one to two volt battery just fine. They don't complain. They do the job just fine. Then we have your batteries, which are below a volt. And I have two right here. And I immediately, as soon as I see a bat, when I voltage test any battery that's sort of below a volt, immediately I throw a red line on it. Um, and I put those aside because those need special treatment. Below a volt, the E-Fest isn't going to charge them. Um, and, you know, you kind of have to do some special things with these batteries. But below a volt, um, I put them aside and I treat them separately. Um, let's look at these two batteries here. Uh, let's see, can you see the voltmeter? Yeah, you can. 0.2 volts. 0.2 volts. These are both 0.2 volts. So these are very much near the end of their life, but I've had good luck recovering these batteries and they perform just fine. Believe it or not, these, um, these batteries here, I just took out of my storage box. These are about six months old. These were processed when I built my e-bike battery. And you can see there were some low voltage batteries in that pack. And these were um, brought back to life and charged and they've been stored. Uh, they've been stored for close to six months, I would say. 
4.16. So these batteries have been in storage for six months and um, you know, maybe have self-discharge 0 0.05 volts. These batteries are fine and I actually, all batteries with a red line I do actually test. I actually run them through the liter collars and test them. But once these recovered, these tested fine. So I'm gonna do the same with uh, these two new batteries that are 0.2 volts and we will see, um, you know, we will see if we can recover them and how they test out. So um, just for fun actually, Let's write some voltages on these batteries. So we know, both know that we know that these are both 0 0.2. And what I'll do is I'll actually, these, other, these medium voltage batteries, I will take two of those and recover those as well. And we will test them all on the leader car and see how they do. Uh, so that's 1.7 and 1.6. So 1.6 and 1.7. Okay. Um, I've marked these batteries and we will um, recover them and test them on the Lito Carla and then we will, I'll show you the result of how, how they recover. Now, um, how do I, uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the medium batteries back in their bucket. These low voltage batteries, how do I recover these batteries? Well, I actually use my big parallel tray here. So how do I recover these low voltage batteries? What I do is I take some of my other batteries, some of the ones that are, um, these ones are all in the like 2.5 volt range. You know, they're low, but they're still sort of within their healthy range. And I throw them into parallel in this rig here. And let's put a voltmeter on that. Uh, yeah, 2.49 volts, okay. And then I take my low batteries and I throw them in as well. What is happening now is voltage is going to run from these to these. It only takes a few seconds for these batteries to come up from 0.2 volts up to 2 volts. Literally 10 seconds they'll come up. I don't use full batteries because it'll be a hell of a current that runs across and these batteries will get very hot very quickly. I use low voltage batteries to bring up even lower voltage batteries. Um, you know, this, and then that way you get less current running, but it only takes a little bit to bring these batteries back up. And they are a little warm. Yeah, they're, you know, maybe a few degrees warmer than these ones, but not really. But, you know, just that those 10 seconds that have been on here should be enough to bring them up to a voltage where something like the E-Fest will read them. What are we at here? 1.99 volts, 2.03 volts. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these out. I'm gonna pop these into my E-Fest, yeah. And now the E-Fest, um, the lights are white, which means that it's accepted them and it's charging them and it's gonna slow trickle charge these batteries. I will let these trickle charge up and then we will run that on the liter Carla Along with these uh, 1.6 and 1.7 volt batteries, I'll, I'll charge these up as well and then run them all on the Lita Carla and I'll share with you the results in, at the end. Okay, I have the batteries in the Lita Carlas. The, the E-Fests brought up the 0.2s up to about 2.8 volts within 10 minutes and now the Lita Carla recognizes them. And so actually all four of these batteries are 0.2 batteries. And I don't know if you can read, they're at, it's showing 3 volts, uh, 3 volts, 2.88 volts, 2.92 volts. So these are all um, now, you know, two, you know, low, you know, close to 3 volts. And so they, the Lito Carla recognizes them and they are charging. Then just for fun, I'm going to, I've got the 1.6 volt batteries. I also threw those on the EFS for a second. And then on the Lito Carla, they're both at 3.2 volts and charging. And then... Just for comparison's sake, these are those. These are marked the March of twenty. These are the the these are the batteries with a line on them. Um, back from March, 
that I showed you earlier that we're holding their voltage fine. I'm going to test them now as well just to see how they perform. So I'm going to test all these batteries and we'll come back and, and see what sort of results we get on them. So I need to put the charges into, um, into test mode. Reset it here. Okay, and then wait till it comes up. Change it to mode. Thousand. Reset this one. Okay, they're all up. Change it to test a thousand. And let's see here. They are all in test mode. And then. Yep, they're all in test mode. So, yeah, on the Lido Carlas, if you just reset them and then tell it what you want to do in the current, it actually applies that to all the batteries. So, these are all now in test mode. This will take you know, eight hours because they gotta be brought up, discharged, brought back up. So this will run overnight and we'll check on the results in the morning. I do want to mention one thing though. If you ever get a zero volt battery, throw it in the trash. That means that the CID has has tripped. There is a tiny circuit on the top of the battery, even in these unprotected batteries called the CID. And it trips when the battery gets completely low. And, and while there are ways to recover a CID battery, you should not. A zero volt battery is trash, um, um, you know, but these uh, 0 0.2 volts can be recovered. And so they are on the charges, they are running, and we will check the results in the morning. Okay, it is the next morning and these batteries have run on the charges. I ran four of the batteries that were at 0 0.2 volts and let's see how we did. Uh, battery one, 22, battery two, 2300, 2300, 2300. These are 2600 milliamp rated batteries. So these batteries um, have degraded, um, you know, and, and while the, you know, 2300 milliamps is still a very respectable rating, they are degraded down from 2600. And 0 0.2 is a very low voltage for them to get to. So, um, although they are, you know, they have 2300 milliamps and these are reasonable batteries, you should know that any battery that I mark with my red Sharpie does not go in a high drain application like an e-bike or a um, solar generator. I put those aside and I will use them in a power wall, but I will not use them in a high drain application like an e-bike um, or my solar generator. So. Um, you can see these have degraded, but they still have a reasonable life and these batteries are fine now. And actually, their internal resistance is very respectable. 36, 19, 31, 15. Very respectable internal resistance. So these batteries are fine. They have lost a little bit of capacity from dropping so low, but they are fine for power wall use. Let's look at these other ones. These are the ones that were at 1.6 and 1.7 volts. Uh, this tested at 2597 and this tested at 2653. So these batteries have recovered fully and have produced their um, rated capacity. So that's good. So 1.6, 1.7, no real damage done to these batteries. Now, interestingly, these are some Redline batteries from the March of 20 and I retested them and they have both tested at 2561 and 2596. So these batteries have full capacity as well, and they are redline batteries, meaning they were below one volt. However, I suspect they weren't as low as 0 0.2 volts. Um, so these might have been like 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 or one volt. They have also fully recovered and are testing at full capacity. Um, so these batteries are, are fine as well. But again, any battery with a red line, I'm only gonna use in a low drain application like a power wall. Um, but these batteries, no, I'm not going to put a red line on them. They are, are, they've tested fine and I have no problem with them. So anyways, there you go. You can recover super low voltage batteries just fine. Um, but they will, their capacity might get hurt a little bit if they drop sort of below a volt. And I would probably give them an easy life on something like a power wall. I would probably not use a super low drain battery on something that needs a high drain application like a power wall, I mean like an e-bike or a solar generator. I'd just give them an easy life from now on. Um, um, but 
They are totally usable and they can recover.